Hey guys, it's a pumpkin from Bob. Welcome back to my channel. I am back with another Breed Out the Weird challenge for you guys. Now it's been quite a while since I've done a Breed Out the Weird challenge. I think for my channel, I've only ever done one for the channel. Um, I've done it myself for fun a couple of times. So I thought it would be fun, you know, I'm in isolation at the moment. Well, not in isolation, we're in lockdown in the UK. We're being told to stay indoors, so I've got a little bit of time, you know, to play The Sims and record some videos. So if you've uh, seen me in this setup in my last video, in the same outfit, that's because, like I said, I've got a bit of time and I'm just, I'm just gonna get a few videos done today if I can. So like I said, I am doing the Breed Out The Weird Challenge. If you've not seen this challenge before, basically what we do is we start with a female sim, which is weird, or some, some people call this the ugly to beauty challenge. I don't really like using the term ugly to beauty because I just think it's really detrimental to, you know, people's mental health and stuff like that. So. Yeah, I'll call it the Breed Out the Weird Challenge. Um, what I'm gonna do is head into the gallery. I'm gonna find um, a weird female sim. And so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna find a really handsome male sim to breed with our weird female sim, see what the outcome is. And we basically keep doing that, breeding the female sims with handsome male sims until we've uh, filled up our household, I think what is it, eight, eight sims, and see what the final result is. Okay, so I'm gonna um, search, maybe I'm gonna search in the hashtag breathe out the weird. Okay, so as you can see, we've got ugly chipmunk sim. I don't think she's that ugly to be honest. Oh, we've got like a surprise sim inside. Oh, okay. Um, this is what we've got on this hashtag I I don't know maybe this is the wrong hashtag let me search I'm just gonna search ugly instead I feel like we'll get more sims coming up I'm searching only on base game as well because I always have issues searching in the gallery um, for the packs that I have it still comes up with you know sims using packs that I don't have uh, and then I have a lot of issues so oh Red girl ugly to beauty. I am enjoying this sim. Let's have a look. Okay, Miss Lolly Lolly forty nine has made this sim. I think she is gonna be our first baby mama. So let's replace her. Her name is Cheryl Bearden. Mm, yeah, so this is the state of it. She's got a hook nose, she's got a tiny little mouth, huge ass eyes, big ears, huge sticky out chin. Body shape, she is hella broad on the top, skinny waist, skinny thighs and then massive calves. Someone really went to town making this. So her main aspiration, she's got the alluring aspiration, soulmate aspiration. She's lazy, she's hot-headed, and she is romantic. So Miss Cheryl, who are you gonna be mating, breeding with? I hate that term, but um, let's have a look. So we're now gonna search for handsome, handsome. Okay, we've got a guy here called Janssen, made by Annabelle2018. He looks pretty handsome. Why don't we give him a shot? We're gonna get plenty more of these guys. So let's merge him into our household. Have a look at him, Chris Janssen. He's quite buff, isn't he? Nice brown hair, big brown eyes. Not the strongest jaw, kind of still small mouth actually so I don't really see the mouth getting bigger and um, his nose still you know it's quite a broad nose so he's got normal shaped ears so let's hope the, you know the child sims they always seem to get the mother's like well a lot of the mother's features so I'm going to play with genetics 
we're gonna get a child, Chris, Cheryl. Um, I think we'll start with the toddler. Female. Let's randomize her once, twice, and three times. Okay, so we're going to accept and then I'm going to go and change her into a young adult. But let's have a little look at her first. Let's randomize her name. Julie. And let's turn her into a young adult. Age her up. Oh, wow. She's, she's got that big bust, but her face is pretty much like normal straight away. I don't know what's hiding under this hair. Let's have a look at those ears. Oh, she got the normal ears. Her brows are slightly strange shape and her skin tone is a little bit odd. Um, but overall, for the first one, she's not that bad. Let's take this scarf, see what the leg situation is. Legs are pretty normal, she hasn't got those big thighs. She's kind of broad on the top, but not overly. Okay, Julie Janssen. Um, I'm just going to pick a random aspiration and then I'm going to randomise her traits three times. So she wants the beach life, she's a goofball, she's neat and she's a child of the ocean, Miss U Julie Janssen. Okay, let's go find ourselves another handsome sim. Okay, so I found one here which is um, Omar from Elite. Uh, Elite is a Spanish show on Netflix which I actually just started watching, I've only seen the first episode. Um, but I thought I would pick him, I'm going to merge him into the family and see what Julie and Omar create. So let's play with genetics again. I think Omar might be a teen. He is, so I'm going to make Omar a young adult and then we can randomise his child. So randomise child with Omar and Julie. I don't know why she has such grey skin, honestly. Um, we're going to randomise a toddler daughter. So once, twice, three times. Did it do it the third time? There we go. So that red is coming through again. So we got Raven Ayuso, Ayuso, and um, we're going to turn her into a young adult. She's still got that terrible grey skin, which really does not match red hair. She's got the big bust still, but overall, I mean, she has literally the same face, I think, as her mum. She's not an unattractive sim, if not for the, the skin tone, which just doesn't match with the hair. So let's just pick a random one here for aspirations, traits. So she's got the public enemy. She is self-absorbed, vegetarian, and she is a loner. Right, let's go find how many we've got now. We've got five, so we can only have eight. I think we only actually can have seven because when it gets to the last one, okay, we'll work it out in a minute. So let's go have another look for handsome. Okay, so we've got a guy here called Hey I'm Reed. Um, they are made by I'm Emily, I make Sims. He looks pretty cute. Is he modded? I don't know if he's modded. But let's just merge him into the household. 
Items removed. Okay, his shirt was the item that was removed. He is an attractive sim. He's very like surfer boy. Reed O'Reilly. Okay, so let's randomize a child with Reed and I can't remember the other sim's name. What is her name? Raven. Toddler. Randomize her once twice, three times, the red hair, it, it comes through every time, and our sim is called Brittany, let's make her a young adult, are you kidding me, this is the same sim, that is literally the same sim. That we have randomized three times. It's just a different outfit. It's even the same hair as the last time. So how many sims have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we got seven in our household now, so we can't make any more. Um, this Brittany O'Reilly is our final sim. I don't think this went very well, this challenge. I don't know where this grey skin tone came from because it would go all the way back to Cheryl. Cheryl was white and, you know, had a pinkish skin tone. Her guy, Chris, was white and had a pinkish, yellowish even skin tone. And then all of a sudden, Julie come through with a grey skin and that has just carried, that has carried all the way through. So let's look, this is Julie. And then this is her daughter, Raven. The same sim, just with different hair. And then this is Brittany. Brittany's skin is even more gray. And I'm very confused by that. Okay, let's see what we can do with Brittany using some custom content. See if we can make her the best that she can be. So I'm gonna go take her hair off. I'm gonna take her outfit off. I mean, her body's not that weird shape. She's got, you know, really big boobs, but that's about it. So maybe that we'll use that to our advantage and outfit, you know, that kind of shows them off. Um, but I'm gonna go put a skin detail on her first to try and cover up this god awful skin colour, grey. Well, the skin colour itself isn't that bad, it's more just the, the mixing with the red hair. So I think she needs something more like brown toned. I feel like that is kind of the closest. Oh, hang on. Let me just check something because I don't think this is actually their skin colour. I think this is randomised a skin detail to put on them. Let me go take, let's go back to the first one, Julie. Gonna remove the skin details. There we go. That is her natural skin colour. It's just randomised this skin overlay on top of them. That makes so much sense. There we go. We worked it out. So this is her skin colour. She is white, kind of yellowy skin tone. So let's match something. Oh, it's a bit pale. Yeah, I think that one matches the best. I am going to just update her eyebrows a little bit. Can't change her eyes. She has got the eyes with the eyelashes on, which I hate, but we'll leave them on there for now. Okay, she's got some really red brows. I think I might make them brown just to kind of, yeah. Her eyebrows are really close. When you look up close, they're really, really close down to her eyes. If, you know, this was the sim I was making, I would maybe just like lift them up a little bit. I mean, we can lift them up. That's just like a brow lift, isn't it? That's not you know, really changing the genetics. I think, yeah, she's she's kind of cute. So let's go have a look at the hair. She's gonna be a redhead. So 
let's see what we got. I want something kind of similar to the hairstyle she had before. So maybe this. Oh. Yeah, that's kind of cute. I hate that like light, the way the light hits it. Or how about something like this? It's kind of longer. Something a bit more red. Oh, I like that. I think that really suits her. Clothing wise, I'm gonna look for a cute little dress that shows off her body. I mean, she's got abs, she's got big boobs. Okay, how about something like this? This one really showing off her cleavage. Or maybe something like this. I feel like she's a she's a dressy sim, you know, she's gonna be out there dressing up. Oh, this one will really show off her boobs. It's like a nice little sundress. Now I'm going back to the first outfit because I think the halter neck suits her um, broad shoulders. So is that a bit too red? Maybe like a denim one. It's more like a blue denim one. It's more like everyday casual. Yeah, I think that's cute. Let's have a look for some shoes to match that. Um, I think she probably will want something like heeled. Yeah, I think that's cute. That matches. Let's see if we've got any accessories. So I think Brittany is the kind of sim that will have her nails done. Uh, will that be in rings? I think she's gonna have some like long nails if I have any because I did lose all my custom content. We'll see what we've got here. How about some nice red nails and maybe a little bracelet. I think we'll put like a little gold bangle on her or maybe rose rosy gold. Or more, more like a silvery gold. Okay let's go to makeup. So like I said, I've got to keep the eyes with the eyelashes on her. Um, I have lost on my cousin content a lot of it anyway, um, so I don't have the Kajika eyelashes at present. I think she's gonna be wearing quite heavy makeup. I think that's just the kind of sim that she is. Maybe something quite dark. Let's have a look here. Mm. I'm gonna put some eyeliner on her as well. Let's have a look at something maybe. Is that too pinky? Or maybe something really dark? No, I think that's a bit too smoky. Okay, I think that's quite nice. Um, let's do. Um, I don't know if I have any cheek makeup. No. So lips. She's got quite like a thin upper lip. I'm worried about how that will look with makeup on it. I think she'll do like a matted lip. Oh, it doesn't look too bad actually. Okay, maybe a big like glossy lip. Quite plump looking glossy lip. I think this one. Yeah. I think that is the one that I'm going to go with. Um, so I'm not going to bother putting earrings on her because her hair is so long. So I'll look at necklaces, see if there's anything that doesn't kind of get in the way of her kind of cleavage. Um, let's try this as the one that matches. No, I don't like that. It doesn't really go with the dress. There we go. So this is Brittany O'Reilly. I'm just gonna pick a random um, aspiration. And which one did I get? It was location. I'm just gonna pick one of the three. So she's got the city native aspiration. And I'm gonna randomize her traits once, twice, three times, if it does it. She's a hot-headed, family-oriented, mean sim. She does kind of look like a mean girl, doesn't she? So this is Brittany O'Reilly. 
let's take a little trip back through memory lane. Let's start with her great grandma. This is Cheryl Bearden. We kind of did really well coming straight into our first sim um, because we didn't get this big hook nose. I mean, the face shape is still kind of like slim and long, um, but not to the extent of Cheryl here. We didn't get these eyes really low down and eyebrows really high up. In fact, we kind of got the opposite. Our eyebrows and eyes were a little bit close together and we didn't get the big old ears. The bust carries through. This is what I learned from the last time I did this challenge for this channel. The bust always carries through. It is so hard to get rid of a big bust in female sims. Um, we got the normal leg shape though. We didn't get whatever this is. So let's go next to Julie. I mean, Julie was just kind of normal looking sim. Um, her proportions actually of her face were kind of really perfect, except for the eyebrows were quite high up. Um, Raven, very similar looking, but the eyebrows kind of dropped. And then to Brittany, yeah. So that is Brittany O'Reilly. That is the end of this Breed Out the Weird challenge. I hope that you enjoyed this challenge. If you did enjoy it and you wanted to try it, let me know in the comments. I'd love to find out how yours went. If you're uploading them to YouTube, then just comment the links down below and I will be sure to check them out. Also, if you enjoy these kind of cast challenge type videos, then let me know that in the comments as well because I will carry on doing this kind of challenge if that is what you guys enjoy. And if you have any recommendations for challenges for me to do, then please let me know because I really want to try as many out as I can. So again, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure to thumbs up. And if you enjoy my content, then make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button so that you can see when I'm posting. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you next time.